Good morning, tubers. Madam Roy back once again. Back to you on the 19th of March, 2019. Another very cold day here in Southern Virginia. It just hit the 50 degree mark. And yes, I am on my second cup of coffee. <sighs> my go-go juice, as I like to call it. Hope everybody out there is doing really well today. I got up uh, pretty early because I had to check on my buddy Jeff. I was unable to film over there because I didn't actually have a lot of time. One day I'll let you guys meet him again. I know I, I featured him way back in a vlog probably about a year ago, which most of you probably haven't seen. But if you have, you know, there you go. Wow, our mail is really early today. He is flying, too. Well, today's going to be kind of an interesting one. We're going to go down and get my dad's follow-up appointment taken care of for his right eye. Um, then we're going to go eat at our favorite uh, Chinese place. We call it Cedar Rope. The actual name is Peking 2, one of my absolute favorite places to eat. Unfortunately, they actually changed the dumplings. They used to make them there in-house, but now they decided to buy them, and they're really nasty. But other than that... All the other food is still really, really good. And I'll try to get you guys some pictures. I have filmed in there before, but it's been a long time. I just can't wait for spring to come. Honestly, guys, I am tired of the cold weather. It's given me Eustachian 2 problems. It's giving me issues with um, allergies. And now it seems like Dad's either having allergy problems or even getting a cold. So you know what? I pray for a short winter and spring to come upon us very shortly. I know spring is officially going to be here next week, um, but it just depends. We can have cold weather here until the uh, until the middle to end of April. But I'm confident the weather's going to get nicer. We're going to be able to have some more outdoor activities. I'm going to pause this vlog. Let me go and get the mail. I've never seen the mail come this early. This is very odd. So we'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side all right so i just went to the mailbox and it looks like the only thing they put in there is this wayfair i had 10 percent off i haven't really ever ordered anything from them but i have heard of the company um like they do a lot of like furniture and tchotchkes and knickknacks so i have a hunch we're going to get our regular mail delivery delivery later and i'm actually waiting on a uh, package from new zealand to come for a special video i'm not going to spill the beans on that you guys will have to wait until that package comes in but uh yep there you go let me head inside finish my cup of coffee talk to you guys a little bit All right, later tubers, so mom wants to show you a little uh house home remedy or home trick i guess you could call yeah. this for I, stripping away uh wax right wax build up on my table i had a lot of wax build up which is funny because i use a pledge that doesn't have it's a clean it says it's dust and allergen multi-surface and then uh -huh. once in a while i'll put um i'll put this on once in a while i'll do the pledge yeah oil and maybe that's what's building up because, you know, you have to keep your furniture uh, moisturized. Otherwise, it could crack. Right. So I went online and I saw how to do it. I'm amazed with vinegar because do you remember? I think I we did the floor. How my floor was dull and I washed it with soap yeah, I remember. And, and vinegar. And it came out much more shiny. It did a really good job. So before, I already did this, but I had streaks and everything. It said to do um, equal parts. Of water and vinegar, and I did it with. I use old socks, my husband's old socks and Matt's hey. old socks, and I wiped it down. Saves money and on you claws. Can see, it took the it took the uh, the uh, buildup of wax seemed to come off because it was like streaky and everything. Mm -hmm. So now it said to restore it to do three tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of vinegar. That looks like piss. <laughs> Oh, it really sorry. does. Oh my sorry. gosh, look at that. It looks like someone's urine I, sample. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I gotta get a, a dryer cloth. Let's oh, see what it smells it. like. I'm gonna try oh my out. gosh. Hey, you can see this is an old blueberry <laughs> rhubarb jam uh, yeah. jar. I'm gonna try. It said to do it and shake it well. So we're gonna try it. And I'm going to whoop, put a little on just to give it a little shine and see how it does. So. Let me try a little on one spot here. Let's see what it ha see what happens. Ah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. 
Let me just. Now, just remember, this is the restoration process, right. not the stripping process. Right. We stripped it, but now we want to make it a little more uh, shiny. So we're going to give it a try. See how it looks. See how it works. Wax on. And it's Wax amazing, off. you know, you don't have to buy all this like Murphy's oil soap they suggest to take off your your um, build up a wax. Why spend money? I mean, everybody, pretty much everybody has olive oil in the house and vinegar, and it certainly doesn't cost much, and it's no. natural. You know, you're not putting any chemicals on it. That's it. It's actually looking really good so far. Yeah. I'm gonna let mom finish it up, and oh, then I want to tell them one other thing. Uh oh, Remember? what you want to tell you? Okay, another thing I looked up is. Remember, we got this unit a couple weeks ago, and it has a stain on it, like a white stain, like almost like see. a watermark. It's over here. Yeah. And it said to remove it, believe it or not, it said mayonnaise. So I put mayonnaise on it. That's a little mayonnaise residue. And I put yeah. mayonnaise on it, and it said to leave it overnight and wipe it off. So tomorrow, we'll see how that works. That'll be cool. That'll be for tomorrow's vlog. We'll let you know right. how that came out. So how does this look? It looks very good. Looks so much Look better. Look how shiny. Now, do you have to rub it off? No. Mm -mm. Nope. Just leave it on. All right, tubers. There you go. Top you tips go. from mom. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting, I'm getting hungry. I don't know about you. Thanks to the internet. I'm telling you, that internet's something when you look up, and I like all this natural stuff. It yep. really is good. Me too. All right, tubers. And let mom finish this, and we'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers, one thing I forgot to tell you guys, and it is kind of a sad day for me, the very last CRT that we had in the house finally bit the dust. This is a Samsung 32-inch high-definition TV uh, from circa 2005, 2006. We've had this in the um, guest room for many, many years, and unfortunately, the other day, it finally died. The uh, degaussing coil and the convergence went out on it. So basically, you can see the picture, but the colors are all uh, messed up. And since the degaussing coil went out, there really isn't much I can do about it. Also, the uh, tube was really getting weak on this one as well. It wasn't very bright anymore. Uh, so this is the last CRT that we ever had in the house. And this one actually had... A pretty nice array of ports on it. If you look back here, let me see if I can get a date. This was from... Do you guys see a date on there? I do not see the date on there. Oh, there we go. November 2005. But this one actually did have an HDMI port. Had a bunch of component ports on that. Uh, some regular uh, composite. And then we also had the S-Video port on there. So this thing had a really, really nice array of ports. But... Oh, well, say la vie. There really isn't anything I can do about it. We're about to head out to uh, lunch. We'll see what the rest of the day brings, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers, heading down to get lunch. But one thing I wanted to tell you about was when we were at uh, my cousin Sam's wedding in Sioux Falls, the hotel mom and I and dad were staying at gave out these awesome uh, body soaps. These are Pharmacopoeia Citrus Body Lotion. Um, this stuff you can get, but it is like really expensive. We looked online and I think it was $45 for a six ounce bottle. So, I mean, this stuff is super expensive. Luckily, mom did the smart thing and actually asked for a whole bunch of extra. So how many do you think you have left? I think about eight or nine. That's good. Well, we're going to use them sparingly, but these things have the most amazing smell. Let me put this up to my nose. It's like a combination of lemon and orange extract, and this thing really moisturizes the skin. So if I remember, I'll try to put a link to it, but yeah, this stuff is really, really expensive. Yeah, Mom and I both love it. Well, we're heading down there. We're going to get some food, and uh, we'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, tubers. Just dropped off at Dad off at his uh, eye doctor appointment. Mom and I figured we'd take the opportunity to go on a little walk here on uh, Battlefield Boulevard, Great Bridge. Very, very sunny day, but also pretty cold. Good thing I didn't forget my coat, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep, right in front of me is uh, Ches Chesapeake General. Here, I'll turn you guys around. Right over there, hopefully you guys can see it. 
is the start of Chesapeake General Hospital. Was there way, way back about 10 years ago. They took very good care of me. And we're heading to a Goodwill over here. You know, I never have that good a luck at Goodwills, but since we're here, we might as well take a look at it. We already went to the CHKD, right? Uh -huh. And that they had nothing there. I tell you, it's really famine this time of year. Well, I found some. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Mom yeah. did. She got a dish. A platter. For $8.98 originally, down to $4.98, and now it's reduced to $2.98, and with 25% off, it was $2.36. Isn't that incredible? You can get really good deals. Sherrington Drive. All right, Tubers, we're going to walk, and I'll let you guys know if I do find anything at the Goodwill. All right, had to show you guys this. This is such a rarity in Hampton Roads nowadays. An actual Shoney's, this, I believe is the last one they still have. They do the Senior Buffet. Yep, they still do it. $6.99 all day on Tuesdays. So that's why you see so many cars here. Really nice looking old school Shoney's. For a while they were going to tear this one down, um, but it got a reprieve at the last minute. You see the sign's kind of worse for wear. But that's not what we're here for today. We're heading over to that Goodwill, which is right behind the Sherwin Williams. They actually did a pretty good job restoring this. I think they just painted the Shoney's recently. It really does. All right, time to get to Goodwill. All right, tubers, back home here with Baxter on the bed. And I was watching something the other day. I think it was a YouTube video, probably Colin Marmalade. And they were talking about don't push a cat's murder button. And what they meant by that is there are certain places you can pet a cat that they really just don't like it. And generally that place is somewhere near the belly. And I'm going to demonstrate here on Baxter. See, I'm petting his belly, and he's pushing my hand away. And if I continue to do it, he's going to get very irritated with me. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then he'll start biting me. So if you ever wondered what that phrase means, don't push a cat's murder button, that's exactly what it is. Cats are very patient for the most part. They'll let you pet them anywhere, but when it comes to their belly, it's a very, very tender area on the cat, and they just usually don't like it. Now, if I'm really, really com if he's really comfortable and I'm very careful, I might get a little bit of belly rub time, but for the most part, he does not like it. Right now, he hears the neighbor's dog, so then I have to go down. We're going to go ahead and look at a car, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, so here in my local Aldi, and uh, hopefully they have it, and I do see it. This is an oatmeal that I've been buying here for quite a while now. Um, it is organic, so you're going to pay a little bit more. This is $2.29 versus the $1.49 that the uh, regular one is. But this is uh, non-GMO, heart-healthy, organic, instant oatmeal, oats, and flax. And I usually buy two of these. I'm definitely going to buy two because they've been running out of this one lately. 160 calories per packet. And if you look at the ingredients there, organic whole grain rolled oats, organic cane sugar, organic flaxseed, and sea salt. That is it. And this stuff is really, really good for you. Going to get two of those. And Mom and I have to do some more shopping. I think I'm going to end the vlog here for today. Maybe one day I'll get a chance to do another full Aldi's walkthrough. That's not going to be today. Please continue to like and subscribe. Definitely shop at your local Aldi. Great prices, great selection. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.